What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Right, so today we're doing something a little bit different. We've got Laura on the laptop getting ready. I'm actually giving her a thousand pounds to spend in 10 minutes. What am I gonna get? <laughs> and um, it's actually gonna be spent on Farfetch and she's spending it all on me. So it's kind of like doing a designer haul, but with a time limit and a money limit but we're gonna see what she gets. Hopefully she'll get some good stuff. So if you do enjoy the video guys, don't forget to drop it a like, it really helps the channel out. Subscribe to the channel if you've not already and let us know in the comments if you enjoy these types of videos. Let's get started. I'll do a bit of a screen recording of Laura shopping and I'm gonna go out of the room so I don't see anything. All right guys, so I'm gonna leave the room in a second. You got 10 minutes, a thousand pounds. Start the timer yeah. now. Three, two, one. Go. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize I started. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> it's quite scary. And I don't really know how to work this laptop. Oh, that's oh, fuck. Proper made me jump. Is yeah. Right, so how is it? Okay, girl. Don't come around here because you might see. That's all I've got. Don't look! I'm not gonna look, I'm not gonna look. I'm at £987. That's a pretty good effort. £987. Time is up. We'll catch back up with you guys when all the stuff comes in the post and we'll do a bit of a, a try on haul unboxing to see what? if the Laura has done a good job. Could be very bad. Could, Could be, be bad. very good. We'll see. So guys, it's a few days later. All the stuff has finally come from Farfetch, from Laura's £1,000 shopping spree on me. She's going to take us through all the stuff. Hopefully, there's some nice things in there. I'm quite excited. So let's go through it. Come on. Do you think you've done a good job? I hope so. I well, think I've actually got a an outfit. Really? I think full, so. outfit. full outfit. Full outfit, I think. Mm. Right, we'll go through all the boxes, just take it all out, see what it's like first, and then I'll try it on after okay. that. Right. You ready? I actually am quite intrigued. Box. Ooh. Ooh. That's the first, one. first item from Balmain. So I'm guessing. We had that's a bit it. of a sale on, so that's why I was able to get. Ah, so it's saying it's items. a logo t shirt, saying 180 quid for a t shirt from Balmain. I know Balmain stuff is expensive, so. Let's have a look. Actually looks quite nice, you know. I'm not gonna pick bad stuff. It's actually pretty nice, Balmain tea. I've never tried on a Balmain tea. Oh, it's quite nice. Size extra large. Hopefully this fits, that's very nice. It's all packaged very nicely. Yeah. The only problem with Farfetch is, because it, it doesn't come from one place, it comes from everywhere, so it all came at different times, which was a bit annoying. Right. But, I suppose it's just one of them. Maybe we'll do the same, but for Selfridges or flannels to suit it somewhere like that next. That's probably, probably going to be better and easier. Next item. Oh, what's this? Diesel top. Diesel t shirt? Yep. Hmm. Not sure what I think about that. Could be nice on. I think it might be a little bit oversized. Yeah, it looks quite a wide fit, doesn't it? Is that extra large? Yeah. Yeah, extra large again. Another white t shirt. <laughs> I did say I wanted some oversized t-shirts, so that's where Laura's getting all these ideas out of. Next one, with a different colour. What is it again, a t-shirt? Hmm. Comme de garçon, or how do you say it? What's that? That brand like the Converse. You know, with the ah, red hearts on. Ah, is it? Yeah. So this one's a size extra large again. Comme de garçon. I do really I like, like the, the colour. colour. The colour is very nice. Quite simple. Yeah, it's very similar to the Hugo Boss t-shirt that I got from Amazon Fashion, so. Hmm. Quality feels quite nice as well. Let's move on, what t shirts so far? This is not t-shirts. Good. This is the next item. I'm glad there's not all t-shirts. I'm glad there's not too many. Maybe. I don't know, I can't really remember. It was a week ago now. I know. So that long it's, come for it. it's like taking a bit of time to come. 
Calvin Klein. Cargos. Mm. I didn't think they were going to be that material, joggers. you know. I thought they were going to be ah, natural. Ah, so like... I thought they were actually going to be cargos, so that's not great. Calvin Klein cargo joggers. They actually look alright. These are large. Yeah. They're large. Hmm. Could be quite nice. Be nice. It's more like a jogger fit, so a bit more casual. Kenzo. Oh. An item from Kenzo. And the sizing from Kenzo is a bit annoying, oh, so. I Hopefully, this is all right. Hmm. I think it's pretty plain. Yeah, extra large. You've gone very safe, haven't you? That's one I've thing gone for I'll nice say. stuff that I like and you would wear. Very safe. All I white, for your plain. kind of fashion. I suppose, yeah. Nothing then. really. Hopefully, it's something that's a bit more out there. These shoes. Are you ready? Da, 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 da. It's quite heavy. Ooh, what to do the unboxing? Yeah, go da, on da, da, da. Let's see what these are. Burberry. Ooh. I was expecting a pair of Axel Arigato, to be honest. Oh, sorry. I had a thousand pounds. I know you went for that. You got all like just plain stuff here, and then what? Just spent it all on the trainers, didn't you? Pretty much. Quite nice packaging from Burberry. So. Oh, the them ones, aren't they? That that guy had. We've seen these before in Selfridges. They're pretty nice. Oh, Laura, you're very bad. <laughs> I told you you might like some of it. She's a very bad influence. I'm going to want to keep these in the likes. 500 quid or something. <laughs> Quite nice. Oh. Very, very, very nice. They're a little bit different because they've got obviously the Velcro on the toe box there. Or just above the toe box. Quite nice. With the blue Commodore Garçons t-shirt. Yeah. And the, the cargoes. That weren't supposed to be joggers. Could be a good combo, that. Quite nice. Quite nice. I think these are my favourite pick from the bunch, to be honest. All the other stuff seems pretty nice. Like the uh, first t shirt's good, but obviously it could have gone for a couple of other covers. But there's three white t shirts there. Could have liked I was in, I had 10 minutes. I suppose, yeah. Under pressure. <laughs> anyway, let's try it all on and see if it fits. We'll make an outfit with this stuff, so. So guys, we've got, we'll start off with a t-shirt, we've got a Kenzo t-shirt. Decent fit, to be honest, not bad. Like like I said many videos before, if you do get anything from Kenzo, make sure you size up because sizing is very strange on Kenzo stuff. Looks nice. But yeah, it's a nice fitting t-shirt. Like sleeves are quite long, quality feels decent. It's a plain white tee, but you can kind of get a plain white tee from anywhere. If you're going to get some designer, probably wouldn't get a plain white tee. Do you know what I mean? It's a bit... Yeah, but it looks nice. Looks nice, And it's yeah. your style. Yeah, yeah, I suppose. I suppose. And then we've got the cargos on the bottom, which are not great. I'm gonna be honest, they're not my favorite. So just from Calvin Klein, aren't they? But the crotch is like quite dropped again. And they're just, I think Laura said, did you think they were gonna be I a different they were material? Like a normal cargo pants. Like yeah. a cargo material, but like a jogger jersey material. So it's not great. a little bit annoying. And then, Right, the shoes look sick. Like the Burberry shoes look so nice, but we were struggling to get them on. We had to get the shoe horn wherever it's gone. We had to get a bloody shoe horn to try and get it, get them on. So very rigid. They look nice. They look they? sick on the feet, but they're just like a very rigid. All right, so this is what the shoes are looking like. Guys, I think they look quite nice, don't get me wrong, but they're just very uncomfortable. Even I think more uncomfortable than Alexander McQueen's. Right. Which is not a good sign, so I think definitely size up by at least half a size in these if you are going to get some because not ideal. Right, let's try on the other few t shirts. Right, guys, so the next item Laura picked up was the Commodore de Garçons t shirt in this very nice light blue colour. A very nice colour, it suits you. Thank you, I do really like this colour, guys. Probably is my favourite colour, you know. It's a size extra large, but I'll tell you what, like, they're quite fitted t shirt so just bear that in mind. It's like nice quality, though, I think. Nice yeah. quality than Kenzo, maybe. Yeah, maybe better quality than Kenzo. Very similar price point. I think this was 90 quid. Kenzo t shirt was what, 80 quid? I think it was 98 and 86. Oh, 98, 86. So, very similar price point, but I think this quality t shirt is better. Um, similar, this is a bit of a tight to fit, more slim fitting, so bear that in mind. Maybe size up again 
in Commodore de Garçon, I think that's how you pronounce it. As well, the Burberry trainers were 490. Yeah. And the Calvin Klein cargoes were 112. 112. I think so. they were in the sale, and that was in the sale. I think, right, okay. I think pretty much all of it was apart yeah. from the shoes. A lot of the websites at the minute, there is a summer sale, so it's a good time to get some stuff if you are into your designer gear. All right, I've got two t shirts left the Diesel and the Balmain. We'll go for the Diesel one next. Oh. Right, guys, so this is the Diesel T. It's actually a very nice fit. I was expecting it to be like quite baggy and quite oversized, but it's probably like. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Bless me, bloody hell. It probably is like the, the decent fit. It's a bit more relaxed, a bit more loose fitting. Nice for summer, because it's yeah. got the bright colour on it. Do you like it? I didn't like that. Mm. 30 quid. 30 quid, it's the cheapest one from the bunch. Do you? Hay fever is kicking in, you know. All right, guys, let's try on the last t shirt, the Balmain one. I think I was most excited for this Balmain tea, right? And I'm like just so annoyed and like not great. Like it's see-through guys, it's actually like see-through material. You can material. tell on the back because Look. this is like double, I think. Is it? Yeah. If That's you're spending good. 180 quid on a t-shirt this quality, I think you're a nutcracker, honestly. Like the quality is like see-through. It just goes to show that brands, like when they've got a massive name, can literally charge whatever they want for the brand name because this quality is not ideal. Like. <laughs> I think the diesel t-shirt was better quality and that was 30 quid. It's actual madness that. It's not good. And the fit, I'm not, it's probably my least favourite fit as well. Like it's just not the best fit. I was looking forward to this Balmain tea. Aren't you glad you didn't like it? I know, yeah. This is going straight back. Which was your favourite item? Favourite item, I think. Maybe the uh, Commodore de Garçons t-shirt. Really? I really like that blue t-shirt, that colour is so nice, like really nice colour, and the trainers, that and the trainers, apart from the fit of the trainers, it's pretty nice, but I suppose you've only had 10 minutes. So it's hard in 10 stuff. minutes. 10 minutes to spend a grand in Farfetch. Let me know guys if you want to see more videos like this, we'll maybe do it for Selfridges, Tasuti, Flannels, other designer brands like that, because it's quite, quite interesting quite to fun. see what you're going to pick, but next time you have to pick something, some Wilder. stuff that's a little bit more right, okay. out there, not just like the plain white t-shirt, because everyone, you know what I mean, everyone... Yeah, but you've just reviewed three high, quali high quality designer white yeah. t-shirts, so it's quite good. I suppose it's a good comparison for if you're into your designer gear and stuff like that, and like if you want to compare the Kenzo tea to a bloody um, Balmain tea. Kenzo is better, to be honest. Diesel um, is better. Yeah, diesel's both. better than both, but it's all just about the brand, so that's what designer stuff is at the end of the day. But yeah, guys, that is going to wrap up today's video, so I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to drop us a like, subscribe to the channel if you've not already, and make sure you go to follow us over on Instagram. My handle is just at Josh Sull. It's yours. Underscore Laura Grant. Underscore Laura Grant. Go and follow us. And any other video ideas, just let me know. But yeah. Nice one, guys. I'll catch you on the next video. See you later. See ya.